The television station of the year and first with breaking news, TVC News has relaunched its news service. You can say that again. Uh, the news channel has the plan to become the first in the provision of broadcast news in Nigeria. Now, TVC News has spared no cost in realizing this plan with its cutting-edge technology and its trained and prolific crop of broadcast journalists. Our TVC News correspondent Sarah Yeku tells us more on that. For about five years, TVC News has graced TV screens both local and international with reports, news analysis and programs about like happenings in Nigeria. With the slogan, first, accurate, reliable, news correspondents from across the country have told stories and given in-depth and on-the-spot analysis of news behind the events. In a bid to change the face of news reportage in Nigeria and reposition TVC News as the best news channel, the station now has a new and attractive look. With cutting-edge technology and new faces of news programs, it is appropriate to adopt a new slogan. First, with breaking news. The new studio was assembled in three weeks by a 12-man team from India in collaboration with experts in Nigeria. But we felt the time was right to upgrade the overall performance of our news channel, and that meant improving our editorial, our technology, and our on-screen look. You can see here today that we haven't scrimped on cost or investment because our plan is to be the best provider of broadcast news in Nigeria. And that means providing a service which people can rely on and one which they find attractive to watch. See With this rebranding, the flagship morning program, Tivis at Breakfast, will be showing 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. with Mike Okwache and Veronica Dan Ikoi. We like to give an all-round analysis to what life is from politics down to what happens on the street, giving them new dimension and also bringing analysis in a very different way. So that is what you'll be seeing in, in the coming uh, days as the case may be. Change, we're going to be changing the tone for newspaper reviews especially. It's going to be something you have not seen before. And so we'll be dealing with a whole lot of stories, especially from the newspapers. And because it is breakfast, we're going to serve it to you hot, steamy, and uh, because it's breakfast and delicious, right? And so it's going to be I'm a full mix. of sugar, like, like Mike <laughs> says usually. The daytime news will be anchored by ace broadcaster Ngozi Alegu. Our reporters are everywhere. They're going to be reporting live, reliable news. You know that if you don't hear it on TVC News, I need to say that again. You will have to take it with a pinch of salt. So and the primetime news belt will feature 2018 Wale Shoyenka Prize for investigative reporter runner-up Aziza Tolaolua and Nifemi Oguntoye. We are focusing on breaking the news to be fast, balanced, and then accurate. We are first with breaking news, and it's way beyond just a screaming headline, because the part of a story that is not told, it's like a part of an object that is not reached by light. So at 7 p.m. and 10 p.m., what we do is explore the many angles there are to the developing stories of the day. TVC is poised to always be first with breaking news. It's congratulations to the promoters and the board for putting this huge investment in technology to ensure that our work is made easier. For us to have a tagline which says first with breaking news is no mean feat, but then if you have the equipment, you have the technology, and you have the team of dedicated professionals, which without a doubt we do have, then it makes it easier than most stations. For over 12 years, a particular television station have been winning an award and you people came and won it. That is I congratulate this uh, organization. The quality of what has been put in, you know, the technology, cutting edge technology, everything that has been done, not just with the set, but, you know, um, all the resources that have been put together, it's definitely is going to change and revolutionize the way we do news in Nigeria. Definitely. And something that I'm really looking forward to. With this lunch and top notch technology, Nigerians can only expect the best from TVC News. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Lagos. All right, uh, you got it there right now. Uh, joining us to talk about this is Commercial Director, TVC Communication, 
Ronan Redmond. It's good to have you, Ronan. Good morning. It's good to be morning, here. Ronan. Thank you oh, for yeah. having me. Really nice to see you. <laughs> and Hope you've you got enough rest after yesterday. Yes, uh, we had outing. a we had a very very busy day yesterday. Yeah. Not plenty of rest, but okay. it's all about tomorrow. It's uh, all about tomorrow oh, at seven yes. p.m. Oh, that's yes. when it, that's oh, when it yes. all kicks off, isn't oh, it? Okay. Yeah. Now, since two thousand and seven, sorry, twenty seventeen, rather two mm. years ago, when the TVC communication was, uh, you know, was rebirthed, one we all re reinvented. Uh, there has been this new wave of taking things uh, to uh, other heights, as the case may be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what is this? Talk to us about this this new uh, TVC news and the, the the new slogans and all of that. Yeah, well, as you rightly say, it all started in about 2017. Mm -hmm. The board of directors of TVC Communications appointed a CEO, Mr. Andrew Hanlon from mm -hmm. Ireland. Uh, very professional uh, me media practitioner and his role was to turn TVC communications into the leading media and entertainment business in Nigeria and, in, and indeed West Africa. TVC communications, everyone's watching news today, but TVC communications um, has a couple of channels. It has a big entertainment channel, um, TVC Entertainment, which nearly four million people watch every day here in Lagos. And we also have a, quite a large radio network, uh, Max FM. Um, so it was very important that we raise the profile of each of those channels. Um, but core to our business is obviously TVC News, uh, mm -hmm. and that's what we're, we're here and we're talking about today. Everything we do is prefaced on, on two key variables. One is audiences, mm -hmm. and the other is advertisers. And by that I mean is we won't exist without our viewers. We Radio won't exist without our listeners. So everything we have to do is um, focused on giving the viewer or the listener what they want um, each and every day. Yes. We're a commercial station. We're a, we're a business. Mm -hmm. you know, we're, not, we're not a charity. We're a business. What advertisers want is they want to reach large audiences. So that's why we go for audiences and it attracts the, it attracts the advertisers. In this instance, what we've done and what we're doing as a team with, with TVC News is we're listening to our audience. Um, we've got a very, very sophisticated audience mm. watch TVC News. Um, and what we're trying to do is, as I say, give them a more improved product. And um, now the promise is first with breaking news. Tell yes. us about that. I yeah. mean, it's a promise that you have to keep. A lot of viewers <laughs> are going to be holding you uh, on that yeah. promise. Yes, <laughs> it, it is. And it, it's, it's, it's a real promise. And um, it's... It, will, it, it is something that we've put a lot of work into and we'll continue to put a lot of, of work into to deliver. The reason we do something like that is to create a point of difference. Media in Nigeria, media in every market, is very, very competitive. So we have to find something that makes us different to ev everybody else. Also as well is the world is changing how people consume their news. People, in, 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 the, in the past, people might take a newspaper and that's how they got their news right across the day. Right now, news is instantaneous. We, we want it right now. So what we feel is our point of difference can be that we have the capabilities, we have the technology, we have the brilliant staff to be able to live by that mantra um, and, and deliver news for people first um, each day. And how do we do that? We, we have a staff of nearly 550 people. A lot of them are located here, but the majority are around the Federation. We have a big organization in Abuja, but in each state we have, we have a presence. We have the best satel satellite technology, news gathering technology, etc. And all the work that you know we've done in the last number of months in particular on news has been about organizing all of those teams and making them ready so that if anything breaks anywhere, we can mm. be first for breaking news. Yeah, let's let, let's talk about the 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 money mm -hmm. because yeah. uh, that that's that's a very uh, critical part of why we are on air and all of that. Apart from the fact that we need to feed uh, the people's appetite, what yes. they want to see, yes. what they want to hear, and what is going on, and all of that, breaking it down. Yes. Now. What has been the response so far when it comes to since 2017 when things have been changing with the new innovation, with the new investment into all of this? What has been, what has really, uh, talk to us about how uh, marketers and advertisers are responding to this. Yeah, it, it, it's, there's been a number of responses. The first, the first response, I suppose, in 2017 would, would have been one of great surprise. Mm -hmm. Surprise because the economy here has been in great recession, as it has been in other markets around the world. So what one wouldn't expect during a recession is that a company would start to 
invest substantial sums of money in, it, in its products. But that's what we did, and that has surprised the market. Now, we explained to advertisers and agencies why we're doing it. We want to attract greater audiences, and we want to have those audiences that we can attract the advertisers. So we clearly engaged with advertisers from the very outset in 2017. We laid out our vision. They were surprised, but they said, look, we will support you, um, because any investment in the advertising and marketing business, especially during a recession, is positive um, and hopefully creates some momentum within that business. But to, I suppose, to bring it to the numbers and the figures, as, as you've asked, we have seen substantial growth in our revenue, 2018 over 2017, 2017 over 2016, and we're, we're forecasting further substantial growth this year. And that okay. really is bucking the trend in, in, a, in, a, in an economy which is only coming out of recession and is not seeing the, the general growth in the economy that we're experiencing as a company. So you're obviously doing something right. Well, we, now, to we, what all, extent are. we will, all are. Will, yeah. to, to what extent will this um, you know, uh, uptick in revenue uh, rub off on the human element? I mean, yeah. you talked about the 500 or yeah. so uh, strength when it comes to uh, staff. Yes what changes you know will happen as far as yeah. you know where staff is, yeah. is concerned well, well, well staff those... satisfaction and, and yeah, all that. yeah. Oh, ab absolutely look that, that that is as i said earlier we we have a staff of well over 500 people mm. they're they're a young staff they're an incredibly capable staff etc a lot of the a lot of the revenue that comes in goes to running the company the the staff that I speak about, that is, our, that is our greatest asset, as it is with any media company. Your staff is your greatest asset. And what you always do in a business is you invest in your assets. And by that I mean making sure that people can be at their most productive when they come to the workplace, whether it's with the, the proper equipment we give people to do their job, we mm. remove the barriers, whether it's investing in training, etc. And that just doesn't happen now in Gozi. That's been going on for the last mm -hmm. number of months. And as we invest further in all this technology this great new set which we're going to unveil um, tomorrow night, mm. it is incumbent on us to continue to invest in, in our staff. And it's an amazing set, I must it say. Is, it yeah, is. It's really amazing. Amazing. It is. Yeah. You're going to tune in and you wonder, is this a Nigerian station? <laughs> <laughs> Ronan Redmond, Director of Commer thank you. Commercials, thank, thank you, you so for, much for coming. Thank you for program. having me. The very thank best you. of luck. Very thank very you. Best of love. Well, it's good to be on the TVC platform yes. and we are first for breaking news. You're going to mm -hmm. be seeing a different thing altogether mm -hmm. as we uh, move along uh, from these elections and, and even further.